developing hotels. What I mean, what goes into that? I think it was a midlife crisis. <laughs> Tell me about that. I've been doing shopping centers for 30 years. But after I bought the design district, I listened to my showrooms and they said they wanted a hotel. And so I set out to find a hotel that would go in the middle of the design district. And and that that little thing right there changed pivoted my whole career. Little thing. A little well, thing. it became a passion project for me. And that's how I met Richard Branson. And that's how I picked Virgin Hotels, which is a very young brand in the hospitality world. We shared vision and it ended up being perfect because the design district loves the Virgin Hotel. Yeah, it's a beautiful hotel. Can't, tell me about it. I spent four years designing it on paper with an architect. And I just didn't let people loose and let them do their thing because I knew that once it was open, I was going to be the name and the face. So I wanted to prove and like everything that went into that building, whether it's a rug or a lamp or a painting. Most of those paintings in that hotel are from my own homes out of my own personal collection. And so I really love that hotel like my own home, even though I've never spent the night there. I was just going to ask you, you've <laughs> never spent the night there. I have not. Isn't that interesting? People think that's crazy, but I spend a lot of hours there. I was just going to ask how many late hours do oh you Oh my spend? gosh. I, I love entertaining people there. I love meeting guests there. I have met so many fine friends, guests of the hotel. that just want to meet the owner, uh, famous people like 50 Cent, all the way down to anonymous people. I think I make myself more accessible and available than probably any other hotel owner in America because I enjoy it so much. It's become my life. 